Hello my friends, John LaRufa here with another Unbiased Unboxing, and in this episode we're going to be taking a look at the second edition of Zombie Side, this juggernaut box, very colorful artwork, all that jazz. Let's see what we get when we crack it open. And as usual folks, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel as it will help me build up my fan base. Okay, so as you can see, very thematic cover here. This is a second edition, so of course they know what they're doing, trying to get things uh, improved um, as far as over the first one. I like the fact that you kind of see the game and play on the back. I've always said that, and I agree with it here too. Little box damage at the store. Apparently some Butterfingers dropped it before I uh, ended up purchasing it, but... That's not uh, the publisher's fault. It was just somebody else, a little user error. So we're not gonna not gonna worry about that. Okay. So as we get this open, it's certainly a heavy box. I'm assuming there's plenty of content in there. I see the game contents in the back, which is good. I like to always see that. All right, and as we open it up. The box is standard, nothing special inside. Fix that little corner if I can. Looks like there's some free content. We'll see what that's all about. All right, and here's our rule book admissions. So this is definitely, you know, a, a two-for-one book, but that's good to see that uh, they've actually got binding on the outside there. It's that big. So we've got a clear table of contents, which I think is good. The components list to start. All right, and some changes if you've played the original, which I actually have not. I've seen the original play, but I've never actually played it. So this is my first uh, zombie side game. Talk about the setup. Looks like there's plenty of examples here, which is good news. All right, then they tell you about the game overview, the basics, movement. So you, you're, even though it's a big rule book, you've got a lot of examples, a lot of pictures, lots of things to, you know, it's like a mixture of, of theme and art and everything else. So let's just see how much we've got with regards to the rules. Yeah, we're in the 30s now. All right, and then they're talking about missions, but we haven't started. Okay, so basically you see here... About 36 pages of rules, and then they go into the missions. So there's going to be some learning involved, but I, I, as I've read, it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. It's pretty straightforward, and then you got all these different missions to play. I think they said there's 25 of them, and they talk about skills at the back here. Cool. All right, and then I love the fact we do have a nice overview on the back, so you can just smack that right next to you while you're playing, and makes it easy. Okay, so we've got this box inside the box here. <clears throat> and as we take that out, this is going to be the miniatures, I'm sure. Free cool mini or not content again. All right, so first we have our characters. Okay, so we'll take a look at these, the quality, etc. Now, I've already watched a couple of reviews and things about people saying it's kind of weak sauce. They're still using, you know, the pimped out this and pimped that and blah, blah, blah. I, I can see that. I can see what they're saying. They could have changed it, but they're going to stick with that. And I get it. Um, you know, it's a little der derogatory, especially if you're going to play with younger people. Um, but it is a game about killing zombies, too, which is kind of also a little bit, I don't know, on the edge, so to speak. So, you know, when you have a game about killing zombies, you're not going to have necessarily a, you know, instant family-friendly sort of thing. So I guess you kind of take it, you know, mixed for what it is. All right, so these are smooth. The card quality is nice and thick. You're going to be putting these, um, you know, on your character trays, which... Can kind of show you that right now, which are very nice, good quality plastic. This is pre printed. This gauge here will kind of help with your experience, which or your um, it's not really experience as much as it's like rage level, but it's basically experience. And this kind of fits right in there. And I like that they made it easy to get it in and out. And they put the um, some of the keywords that are important for the character on the back, which is cool. And then there's two spots for your handed weapons so one over here, one over there, which is good. 
some other things. So these are they're pretty cool. So anyway, here's the characters. We've got, uh, you know, there's different adult characters here, as you see. And then the kids, which I know that's what people are also like. Why does you need to bring in kids into this thing? I can see that too, a little bit. Um, you know, it's a board game and it's a little bit of a, you know, when you're killing zombies and all that other stuff, you, you kind of take that for what it is, right? And, you know, it's 14 and up, so I, uh, it's not something you're going to play with young kids anyway. Okay, so anyway, we have uh, six of these because there's six characters. They all look like they're in good quality shape, so that's that's very good. Glad I did not see any defects or anything in that regard. All right, and then we have the different pegs for the different six characters. These are plastic. Hopefully they'll fit in there nicely. The standees for the six characters. And our cards here. So these are going to be all the things that drive forward the game, I believe. The weapons, the things you can find, the... Um, zombies, etc. So we've got a couple different decks here. We'll go kind of in color order. All right, so you get this blue deck, which also has either the pimp mobile or the uh, police car information on it. These cards are really good quality. Look at that thickness. That, these are some of the thickest cards I've seen in a while. And if you're not um, looking to necessarily sleeve, you definitely don't have to. They are, there's no texture here, but these are really, really crisp and thick. I don't think you'd have to sleeve them unless you're like me, you do it anyway, but these are great. All right. I like the art. I like the cleanliness of easy to see what it does, but it's very thematic and the, the iconography is pretty easy to understand. Um, so that's what you're getting here. You're getting a bunch of different kind of weapons and things over here. And I think this is like the standard deck, the blue one, which gives you kind of your standard type of weapons and all that other jazz, shotguns, sniper rifles, submachine guns, some water. And then this is the stronger deck here, this red one, I believe. Oh, and there's a black one too, so we'll get to that. So, <clears throat> so this is place the walker in the zone and discard this card. So that's kind of cool. You get little unexpected stuff there and then now we have better better versions of these weapons as you can see golden things and gun blades and my shotgun and a nail bat all that stuff okay so that's better and then we have some black weapons let's see what's in the black so this is probably just your starting stuff yeah it looks like baseball bat crowbar fire axe pistol so this is your 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 beginning weapons Okay, and then we have our zombies. So here's the different types we've got here. We've got um, walkers, fatties, runners. These are the abominations, more walkers. And I know depending on how... Uh, Adrenaline rush you are depends on how much they spawn. So I think that's kind of cool. You get more as you kill more. And then Walker Rush. And then more fatties here. And a fatty rush. So it all seems like in and some runners. So you've got you've got a couple of different types of zombies you're dealing with, but you know you're you're gonna be mowing these things down, so it's definitely quantity, so to speak. And then you you have these different types of abominations that do different things depending if they spawn, which is kind of cool. All right, so the cards are good. I like the artwork. Standard plastic dice, nothing special about those. And let's take a look at some of these minis. So here's our different character miniatures. You definitely can see they're detailed. Um, and uh, the artwork on them looks pretty good. Just giving you a, a clear snapshot of some of these things. And then let's take a look at your abominations. So these are like the big guys with all sorts of stuff going on. So those look pretty cool. Here's a couple more of them. These look fairly similar to one another, but that's okay. 
Here's the fourth abomination here. And then you've got, which I think is a good thing, they have two different shades of plastic for um, you know, these guys. So these are the these are the runners, I believe. All these guys are the runners. And they are dark gray. And then <clears throat> and here you can see the light gray. And that will be your standard guys. So it makes it easier to kind of see. And then you've got the fatties that are, uh, you know, in the dark gray. So I like that they did that just to make it easy to see quickly at a glance. You don't have to be kind of trying to figure out, oh my gosh, is this guy running or walking or what? So the, the miniatures definitely look pretty good there. Um, you'll be satisfied, I believe, with what you get there. And they fit nicely in these trays, which will be cool. Easy to pick them up, put them back in, and sort it out fairly well. Okay. Last thing, let's take a look at the components of the board, etc. So here they pack them quite nicely. I'm hoping that the guy, oh, thank God, look at that. I got lucky. The guy who dropped it, dropped it on the spot with the, um, the padding. So instead of ruining my punch board, it just got this. So, got lucky. That's good. Okay. So we're going to have some punch outs here and then the game boards proper. All right. And I did read too, which I'm happy about. The setup only takes about five minutes, which is great because, you know, with these games, oops, sorry about that. When you've got all these missions and different things, sometimes it can get pretty exhausting from the setup standpoint. And that's somewhat of a deterrent sometimes to play off and, Okay, so we've got these punch boards. These are thicker than usual, so that's good. So they won't warp. They'll be handleable, no problem. And then you've got uh, a couple of police cars here, and I'm going to guess that it's the pimp mobile on the other side. Yep, there it is. And then our game boards. So here is side number one, side number two. So they are double-sided, and they have that feeling of the zombie apocalypse going down right there as you can see clean thematic artwork you know you got this arcade which looks cool of course the uh the bathroom it looks like it's been ripped apart and all that usual stuff so this will look pretty pretty good pretty thematic on the game table while you're playing these boards are nice and thick. I like that. It's going to be really easy to, you know, put them, up, put them together, set them up. And I like that there's, you know, there's a lot going on. And instead of having to try to put together multiple things, you're just going to put these squares in there and it'll be quick to assemble the map. So I do like that. Again, it'll be quicker. Um, also heard in the second edition that they pre-print the doors closed or open so that you don't have to do a lot of that fiddly setup in the, in the uh, gameplay, which is good which is good indeed. All right, so that's what we've got, folks. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. I know this game's been out for a little bit, but I just picked it up now. Again, whatever you end up playing in the future, I hope you have a great time doing it. Take it easy, everybody, and thanks for watching.